Hello and welcome to the Calvair Report. Today's Thursday, April 2nd, 2009, and I'm Rosa Kim. I'm Carol Connor, and we just got back from spring break, and I'm dying to know what Rosa Kim did over spring break. Well, Kira, I first went from San Francisco, and then I flew to Chicago, Chi-Town, and then I went to New York City, touched home base at LA, and now I'm back in Berkeley. Wow, uh, you're quite the jet setter. I'm really jealous. <laughs> no, actually, I'm broke. It was announced over the weekend that Michelle Obama will be giving the commencement speech at UC Merced's campus. Seriously, UC Merced? According to a recent article on the New York Times, Hummers are now becoming the most popular cars in Baghdad, proving that no matter where you go, someone will always try to compensate for a small penis. <laughs> was, was that not... Funny? No, it wasn't funny because I'm so glad that Michelle Obama chose such a prestigious university like UC Merced. Yeah, Merced's got nothing on us. Seriously. Mm -mm. No good, no good. <laughs> Anyhow, let's take it over to Jeff, who has a wonderful correspondent piece for us. What do you have for us? April Fools, it's Grant Stream. Now, internships, careers, interviews. We're going to talk to some UC Berkeley students and see what their secrets to success are. What sort of stuff did you do in your interview? You gotta catch the attention. That's why my uh, resume is not only an orange piece of paper, it's signed in blood. What font did you use? Times. <laughs> well, actually, my interview was a male, so there was a leg up. I just said, uh, you know. A leg up. Sure there weren't two. <laughs> can, I, can I show you what my uh, resume looks like? Yeah. Right wow. there. You see, it lists all my great skills and um, abilities. Mm -hmm. Easy to read. Isn't it? Your face is kind of lopsided, though. I don't know about that. And why did you deserve to be on the internship? Because, um, I'm awesome. That's a fantastic reason. That's the reason I'd use as well. So I kind of did some back re background research on this person, found so, out he was interested in So can I stop you right there? Can yes, I stop you right there? sure. Okay, so what you're saying, and this is a great tip, and I'm really glad you brought this to the table, yes. is to stalk and spy on your interviewer before actually engaging in the interview. All right, <laughs> professional interview, when were you saved? Saved? By the Lord Jesus Christ. 28th, 2005. That's no, so straight. 2000, I'm sorry. Now, if those tips and tools don't work for you, just go back to doing whatever it is that you do best personally. I mean, that's how I got with my job with Cal TV in the first place. Check it out. Gets it done and then some. Mm. I just don't think we have the space for you in our office. Please? I really want to work for CalTV. I swear, I'll do anything. Anything? That was fantastic. Well, that does it for us today. Please check back next week where Kira and I will spice things up and become correspondents. And we'll bring you a wonderful piece on Beat the Clock. Oh, yeah, and uh, don't forget to check back on Tuesday for Claudette Rogers and Rob Gill, but make sure you bring your Berkeley goggles. You're going to need them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye.